So in this video, we are going to see how to calculate the points to apply for uh, Canadian immigration under skill worker express entry. Uh, so first thing you need to do, just go on Google and enter express entry points calculator. And here you will get the first link, which says comprehensive ranking system, CRS tool. We click on this and we go to the uh, tool to calculate the points. So these points are based on your skills, your education, your language ability, uh, either you know English or French language, uh, work experience you have, uh, foreign work experience, which is uh, outside Canada, or if you have any Canadian work experience, you can enter that and calculate the points. Then there are some other factors. So let's move on to the next point and we start calculating. So I'm going to calculate the very basic one uh, first, and then we'll keep changing uh, the answers and we will uh, recalculate the score and see how much is the difference. So what is your marital status? Let's say for now we say single. So how old are you? So this varies like your age. If you are above 32, you get different marks. If you are like below, like you're 27, 26, you get different marks. So depending upon on your situation, by the time you are applying, like when you uh, lock your application at that time, calculate the, the age marks uh, and see what is your score. So for now we say, okay, I'm 27. What is your level of education? Uh, so the level of education, I say, uh, let's say I say I'm, I'm have master's degree. Okay. Uh, so have you earned a Canadian degree or diploma? Okay. Let for now we say no. And you see how this changes the, the marks official language test. Uh, uh, you have to give either English language test or French language test because these both are Canadian um, official languages. So you must have your results for one of them and your results shouldn't be uh, older than two years when you apply for your uh, express entry, when you go uh, uh, in the pool. So are, you, um, are your test results less than two years old? So yes. So which language test did you take for your first language, first official language? I select IELTS, English language test. So IELTS is general IELTS. Do not go for academic IELTS because it's not acceptable for uh, express entry or any immigration class for Canada. So I select the highest score because then we get the highest marks for listening 8.5 to 9. Um, reading, yeah, eight to nine. Writing, let's say seven point five. Do you have other language results? I say no, not applicable. Work experience. So first one is asking either you have any Canadian work experience or no. I say okay, I don't have any Canadian experience, so I select none. So in the last ten years, how many total years of foreign skilled work experience do you have? And this experience must match the occupation uh, list, NOC tier uh, category 0, 1, 2, or 3. I'll make a separate video, like what are the occupations included in NOC. So I say, okay, I have three years or more experience. Do you have a certificate of qualification from Canadian province? Okay, basic one, no, because right now I'm filling the um, application for anyone applying from outside Canada. Next one is number eight. Do you have a valid job offer supported by labor market impact assessment? Okay, again, I select no, I don't have any job offer from Canada. Do you have a nomination certificate from a province or territory? No. Do you or your spouse or your common law partner have at least one brother or sister living in Canada who is a citizen or permanent resident? Again, for now, I select no, and next time we will change it. And now I say calculate. Now you see for the age, I got 110 marks. So when I change it to the higher uh, age, 
you will see how much the marks are going to drop. For the master's degree, I got 135 points. The official language, I got 136. So human capital factor, I got 381 marks in total. Spouse, I was uh, single when I selected. So zero marks for that. For my education, I got 50. For my foreign work experience, I got 50 points. So 100 there. Additional marks, no job offer and all that, uh, no study in Canada, no siblings in Canada, zero marks. So my total marks are 481. Now let's say I go and I say, okay, I have a sibling in Canada and I calculate again. And now I got 15 marks for my sibling being a Canadian citizen or permanent resident. And my marks are four. 96. Now I say, okay, no here. And for the age, I go and I change it to 33 years. And now I calculate again. Sorry, calculate. So from 110, I have come down to 88 points for age. Okay, and now my points have gone down to 459. So that much difference it creates. Now uh, we say, okay, I have a, I am a married person and I have a spouse. So let's say I'm married. Is your spouse a common law partner, a citizen or permanent resident? For, so now we say no. Will your spouse come with you to Canada? I say yes. How old are you? I keep it. Okay, let's go back to, uh, let's say 29. Okay. What is your level of education? I keep it to masters. Okay. Other things I say no. IELTS, I, I'm not going to change because I already selected the highest one. Do you uh, have any other language results? No. Work experience, I keep it like this. Uh, then we go to the question where it's asking about the spouse. So what level, what is the highest level of education for which your spouse or common law partner has earned a Canadian degree or educational certificate? Mm, I say none. In the last 10 years or many years of skilled work experience in Canada, does your spouse has? I see none. Did your spouse or common law partner take a language test? I say, okay, IELTS. And here again, I go for the highest one. You can change according to your preferences or if you already have the results. So now my age points, because I selected 29, they have gone up to 100. And let's move to the spouse factor. First official language, I got extra 20 marks for that. And then my points are 474, which is very low. So uh, right now, if you apply for Canadian Express Entry, uh, you need to have around 530 marks to qualify to get the ITA, which is the invitation to apply. Uh, now we see and we change. Okay, uh, we say married, yes. Uh, will your spouse will come to Canada? Let's say we change it to no. How old are you? You're everything else is going to be same now calculate for the age 110 for the spouse because i changed it to this i got zero marks and now my marks in total are 481 let's say you select your spouse will join you. 
and then your spouse also has some Canadian experience. Uh, let's say your spouse has master's degree. In the last 10 years, work experience, let's say uh, one year. Did your spouse or common lab partner take a language test? Uh, yes. Let's say IELTS. Again, the highest. We're going for the highest thing. Um, and now I calculate. So now the spouse factor has gone up to 35. And now my score is 489. So there you have not that much fluctuation. The main thing important is like your own uh, profile. Okay, the points you will score. So your spouse inclusion or exclusion is not going to affect that much. Um, so that's how you calculate the um, CRS score. Uh, it is again uh, just a indication uh, about how much you can score. Uh, so you can select lowest, highest, all the the levels, and you see where you lie. Uh, and then accordingly, you can aim at getting a certain IELTS score or you can improve your education or you can uh, have more than three years of experience and you will have a good picture and a good idea that how you're going to perform when you go for the uh, express entry uh, or either it's uh, viable to apply or you should wait for the scores to come down. So I hope you will like the video. Um, please subscribe the channel. And if you like the video, uh, press the, uh, the like button and share the video. Thank you so much.